Hey, not up here on my Kodak Z i8, the original camera. I love this camera. Kodak doesn't make it anymore, unfortunately. It's kind of expensive to get used. But if you get a chance to get one, get it. I like it. Fits my pocket. <sighs> Anyways, Knob Chop, quick effects. We're going to do a little fish-eyed lens. I woke up today and I thought, I want to make a fish-eyed lens. You know, using one of those little door peepholes, uh, mono things, lenses, technically speaking. So I got on the YouTubes, checked out some videos, looked at some photos on Google. I think I found all the components I need to put this little thing together. So let's go make a fish-eyed lens out of a peephole. Quick effects. <laughs> All right, so there it is. It's actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm surprised how good it actually looks once you get it set up right. Get the right lighting conditions, it looks a lot better. What you're gonna need is your little door fish eye. This is the 200 degree angle. Some strips of drawer liner that we just cut from our roll here no specific length and in this case we used a little PVC the diameter is going to be uh, specific to your camera I think this is a one and a half inch it's gonna go there so first things first you just want to grab our drawer liner wrap it around the back of this little lens here like so all right we got that make sure you don't cover that hole there and then we're gonna we wrapped it this way, we're going to roll it this way into the PVC. And the reason I use this PVC with the hole in it, because it's already centered, there's no drilling or anything. So there you go, the lens is in the back. Now it sticks up a little bit, and that's the one thing you want to check. Turn your camera on, and if you have a zoom lens like this, get it to the position you want, and then just check it, just to make sure that it's not going to hit the glass there. I think that's going to be good. So. That all set up, we're gonna wrap this around here. And the reason I'm using this, this is just because I just want it to be a temporary setup. We're gonna wrap that like so. And you could use tape here if you wanted, but this is nice because it gives a little bit. Wrap it on here like that. Check your positioning, and you can adjust the end here. It gives a little bit, as you can see. Just kinda moves a little as centered as possible. When you like everything that's set up, grab your tape. You'll need some tape. Gaffer's tape is probably the best choice, but I just got some scotch tape here. Wrap it. So now it's secure, and we are ready to go. We're shooting fish eyed, baby. Woo! This 200 degree actually has the best look, I think, in my opinion. This is the 160 degree lens, and it gives a little bit different look, a little less bulgy, as you can see. But in case you were curious what that looked like, there it is, 160 degree wide angle fish eye lens. Let's do a little side by side just to see the difference. Hmm. It's just not fish eye enough for me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But there you go. Mounts the same way. All right, so there you go, the quick effects style fish eyed lens. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. This is just the quick effects style. And of course, we tried it on the DSLR. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Just the way the setup is, and it just kind of made me nervous the way that fish-eyed lens thing kind of pushes back towards the glass. I just didn't really feel comfortable. Seems to work the best on this setup, and of course it's temporary, which is perfect. Let's see how fast this actually takes to make this, now that I know what I'm doing, kinda. First, we're gonna wrap the lens part. Do, 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 do. Wrap the lens with the drawer liner. This is just to add that padding and it gives enough. And then I'm gonna twist it with, there it is, so it's in there. Try to get it as centered as possible. Good to go. Now, I'm gonna wrap the lens. Wrap that. Like that. 
and then we'll just twist this on. This is probably the hardest part. And then we're going to tape it on just to make sure. This is some this is real high quality scotch tape here. Painter's scotch tape. All right, we're just going to tape this on so it doesn't fall. That's not too bad. That's pretty fast. And we're good to go. We're rolling fisheye lens style. That's super quick. That's a lot quicker than I thought. If you do decide to set this up on your point and shoot camera, just be aware of whether or not your lens retracts and how close it does come to the lens as mentioned before. And in this case, on this camera, when I put it into playback mode, it wants to pull back the lens. And since I have it all taped up here, I have to be sure to pull all this off before playing it back. So it's just something to be aware of. There you go, quick effects, Nop top. Thanks for watching. Go make something. Go on, go on, get on out of here. If you get a chance to check out your lens, take it out of the package before you buy it. And look, so like this one has junk around the edge. Can you see it down here? I think it's down this corner or this corner. Not cool. But it's a $5 lens, so what do you expect? Quality's not gonna be uh, the greatest, but it works. Fish, 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 fish eye.